Right, here we are. We're um, walking in the dark today. So it's about 11 o'clock. Should be in the camp and in bed by 12.30. Quick mission. Uh, just got a friend with me, someone over the back there. Oh, there they are. Uh, find out in the morning who that is, but they were mad enough to come along with an invite at the last minute. So, uh, yeah, as you know, I've been up Queensland for eight weeks, mucking around with the family and had a great time, and, but got home and just had to get in the hills. So, Smashed it up here this afternoon and yeah, we're going to spend a night or two nights in here, but really just a day and a, and a quick morning hunt. Uh, see what we can find. We've got fishing rods on, lures. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. First morning, it's, um, it's like 5.30. It's light already. Had a terrible night, really. Sweated like hell. Anyway, we're here. We're on. First deer. Got a big heap of ant laying off it. It's too dark to video. We're just gonna cut the distance and get another look at him. No, he looked pretty good. It's a pretty cool deer anyway. I don't think it's the same one though. Real narrow. I reckon the other one was wide and it was like nah, it's a nice deer anyway but yeah it'd be 25 or 6 it's just very narrow nice heavy antlers and he lucked out if that is another one. So this time here, it's early November. Stags are usually finish rutting a bit and they're just happy to feed. Usually they're solitary. The other stag we saw this morning, which I'm pretty sure is a different stag to this one, even though it's really close to where we saw him, um, was with a hind and looked like a yearling. But it was, yeah, it was pretty early and there wasn't any point trying to put the camera on him. But to me, my first impression was that he was long and wide. This one's short, oh not short, but he's, he's um, narrow. It could be him, but it's got a bit of layback on him too. Thought he was a mongrel for a while and he would have been in trouble, but let's, yeah, let's just lay back a little bit. Oh, he's cool. Mm. It's heavy. Maybe a cracker next year. See here he's looking up real hard. Mm. There's obviously those other deer up there. And I wouldn't mind betting that other deer was maybe like this. Might have been him, and he went down in that time, but doesn't feel right. He's been super cautious going into that wallow. Oh, right. Yeah, I thought I saw a little bit of movement in there, but... Don't, I'm not 100% convinced that that was the same stag we saw right on daylight. But, anyway, nice deer, just kind of looking for... Well, it wasn't... If he had just been the first one I saw, it probably would have been more interested, but I think the other one, if it was another one, was... Big and wide, and if it is the one I think it is, it's, it's 30 inch. But 
we watched him go up to a wallow system and he must be having a play up in there. Hind and Yearling came out. I was hoping for the bigger one to come out on them, but we had him at 500. Uh, but yeah, anyway, go look for another one. So we haven't been able to pick up any more deer. <sighs> Probably because we spent the best part of the morning looking at those deer that we did find, hoping that that bigger stag that I think we saw would pop out again. But they really shut down early this time of year and it's going to be like pretty warm. And it was really warm yesterday. So these deer are definitely on the shady faces looking for shade. Um, so it makes it really hard to glass into the shaded areas when you've got the sun on you. That's where quality binoculars will help you out a fair bit, but it's still really difficult. So what we're going to do is, I know there's a couple of beds behind a big tree up here in the shade. Last time it was hot and I was in here, there was a couple of hinds bedded up on it. We're going to sneak around and get eyes on that. There's nothing in there. We're going to slip down to the river and see if we can get ourselves a brown drought already watched look like good fish feeding up on the water down here on the big bend here so hopefully we can get some good fish <laughs> First one, Glenda's cooking tea tonight. <laughs> Zeb two, Glenda zero. We need to move him, but there's our little experiment. Everyone's going to see those crocs with your funny colouring on them now. Oh, he's off with it. So we uh, spent the best part of the day fishing and cooling off by the river because it was stinking hot in here today. Sunburn sort of hot and um, we've got a bit of a thunderstorm threatening at the moment which hopefully will cool this joint down a bit and make these deer move because we didn't see any other deer after about 7 o'clock in the morning so not even that today, it might have been 6.30. So, yeah, we're hoping the thunderstorm gets the deer moving this afternoon and we can get a look at a few. Uh, plan is to go back and sit off where the, we saw that stag and hind and car or yearling this morning um, and hope that there was two stags and there's a bigger one. But we're going to keep our eyes out across here as well. But super green in here at the moment, which is kind of cool. Yeah, hopefully they get moving. We can find some. Change is coming in, thunder's rolling, it's just starting to sprinkle. 
Hopefully the deer are out. Ah, oh, there's two. They move it late, don't they? Just gonna come out in the clearing So yesterday afternoon we uh, glassed hard all the way till dark and really didn't see a lot and uh, until the last probably 20, 15 minutes of light and we had six come out on this face which I thought we would have seen deer there, but I didn't think they'd be that late. Um, so by the time we saw them, there was nothing we could do about it. There was, couldn't see any stag anyway, but um, yeah, they seem to be uh, a lot of hunting pressure, I'm guessing. And there's so much feed around, they don't have to move much. So yeah, we've, we've picked up two this morning in a similar spot. So we'll try and see if we can pick a stag out of that, uh, off that face, but... Yeah, they're it's real slim pickings for glassing at the moment, but they're there still because the sign's still there. But they are lit, they are. I reckon they've just been hammered. Another deer above there. On, it, on its feet. I just saw its chinch bum. See its ear. Just up on it. See it? Or is that just a stump? No, that's a stump. Oh, I thought I could see a back leg, but I think it's just... I think you're making shit up. Yeah, I think I am. So much feed around, I think the deer are fairly scattered, so it's uh, slim pickings, glassy wise. He's got some style. Real, real nice uh, shape. Is that a young two year old, three year old? Eagle eyes. I don't even bring my binoculars.
Maybe that's that, that tree gun one, right? Well, in the gallery. Oh, no, over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah like just sort of come straight down. See it. We're all in their normal spots all of a sudden. Maybe it was just too hot yesterday. They just didn't move. Yeah, I'm hoping they will just go and have a little play. There's too many eating. Gonna do it. Who's he sniffing up there? Anybody interesting? Come on, stand up. Do a little wee. Is he gonna do a bit of a scrape or not? I reckon 20 would be stretching it. Well, that was worth the trip. No, no he's not real long. He's not long. Nah, he's a little fella. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm looking at a different one. Is he rubbing a tree right now? All you can see is his ass actually looking inside the tree. And he's rubbing the hell out of a tree. Yeah, he's doing something in there. Yeah, you know, little fella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smaller than that one. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, I see. That was the first morning. <laughs> Probably. A big patch on the side of you. It's a little sp Yeah, he's got, I don't know, 10, 12 inches? Spiker. What is? A tree leaning to the left. Yeah. They were coming past that through that. Oh, field. they're in the bush there then. Yeah, they were heading to the left. Ah, that's no good to me. Oh, that's the little stag. He's lost his girls. Mm -hmm. I'm going to that little one. That's another one. That's not him. Yeah, that is. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No. 
Oh, maybe it is. I take it back. He's not as big as I thought. I thought he was a bit better, no? Oh wow, he's a wonky. Right, I was made a play on that today with the wonky antler. Cut down, got a couple of glimpses of him, about 400 bit in. But he's in the heads of the trees, so he's jumped through the gully, jumped on another face, gone up really high to open up that face a little bit. Because where he is, is really timbered. I'm just going to try and pick him up again, sitting around that 400 yard mark. But he's on the move. He's going into scrubbier stuff, so hoping that he circles back around, maybe trying to sniff out some hinds. Yeah, so we've been changing positions, changing the angles, high, round, trying to penetrate into that bit of timber, but we can't pick any of the deer up, and we know there's at least two hinds and three stags in there. Can't see them, I reckon they've, they've bedded down, but... What's happened, we've just sort of worked it out, is earlier Glenda goes, oh, there's a better one. Oh, it's wide. And so I raced over to her and um, got my camera set up. I said, right, oh, guide me in. And she was like, yep, just next to that tree. Right, right. So I've gone in and I've looked and gone, oh, yep, there it is. And I zoomed in and it was one of the small stags. And I've gone, oh, he's not that big and he's definitely not wide. And she's going, yeah, no, nah. and like, we sort of had this bit, I'm like, I'm looking at him, he's not big. Anyway, I've confused her, and so she was looking at the big one, and in the same area, I was looking at a smaller one. And so then we dismissed it, and kept, kept going, and if we had a, seen him, he was all but done, but anyway, he snuck into here, and he's going to survive another day by looking at it. We're just going to hang out and make sure they don't filter out because there was a young stag in there harassing a hind this morning. Because there's three stags in there, there's a real good chance that they'll sort of have, have a bit of a boys' bloody argument. And, and if the hinds aren't ready, they might trot out too. So all that pressure on the girls, they might move out. All the pressure on the small stags from the bigger stag, they might move out and just give us somewhere to really look. But at this moment, we, we're sort of basically trying to pick apart the heads of the trees and yeah, it's pretty hard work but all you need is a little flicker of the ear or a swish of the tail and we'll be game on but let's see how we go no he's not real long nah he's a little fella unless I'm looking at a different one is he rubbing a tree right now all you can see is his ass actually looking through the tree. And he's rubbing the hell out of a tree. And he's doing something in there. Yeah, you know, little fella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smaller than that one. Yeah, he is. So the sun's up. We couldn't find that stag. Um, so we've got a bit of a march back to camp. Pack up and then head out. And lucky for us, it's a bluebird day. Sun's out. So we're going to be sweating like hell. Oh. Anyway, cold drink at the fridge, at the ute and a bit of a feed and be all good. A couple of hours from now, all the pain will be over.
marching out. Really see the ute. Not really. Jesus, hot. The cooling system's not working real good. Anyway, get out of here. We had, we had a pretty good trip. We saw quite a few deer. Saw the, a couple of nice stags. And just couldn't quite get the deal done today, but it's fun trying anyway. Hopefully got a little bit of footage of a few different things. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and hope you've subscribed and if you can jump over to Patreon, that'd be awesome. But I realise everyone's in a bit of a pinch at the moment, so yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the content.